What's up guys, JV2017 here and I am back bringing you a new Fallout 4 tips and tricks video. It feels good to be healthy and making videos for you all and I thought it would be nice to come back on a strong note and talk about power armor. Just a quick reminder guys, this is your number one hub for Fallout 4 content here on YouTube. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned on my channel for daily Fallout 4 tips and tricks videos. Today I'm going to show you how to get a full set of X01 power armor relatively easily. Actually, I had a friend tell me how to find this and I was surprised. I was really shocked at how easy it is to get this once you're at a certain level. And keep in mind, this is the best set of power armor in the game. So once you find this, you really don't need to get any more power armor in the game unless you like to collect every single piece in the Commonwealth. But this is essentially the best thing that you're going to find out there. Before we talk about where this set is, there's kind of a hidden requirement. And I believe this works for a lot of versions of this kind of armor that are out in the world. You must be around level 30 or higher to get the X01 version, the best version in the game. I've also read you need to be 27 or 28, but generally it's around level 30. I can't exactly test that because I'm on a level 34 character, but if you show up at a lower level and try to do this, it could give you a lesser version, you know, the T51B or the T60, you know, a full set of that and you will be very disappointed. So if you're on kind of, you know, the threshold there, the best idea is to save and then try to go to this location and find it. If you don't get what you want, you know, level up and then come back later and you will get the X01. Once you've reached that hidden requirement, the location of this full set is on the top floor of an unmarked building called 35 Court. And this is located west of an actual marked location called the Custom House Tower. And the Custom House Tower is located east of Good Neighbor on the pit boys. You can see it right here. And really in this area, you're gonna find some super mutants, some gunners, some raiders. But essentially, if you start at the Custom House Tower, like I am on the screen, and then just kind of turn and look west to the left, kind of follow this alleyway road, you'll see very big lit up 35 court. This is the building that you want. So all that you're gonna be fighting in here is a bunch of robots. There's gonna be a protector on some turrets, not really a big deal, but really what you wanna do is go to the elevator on the left side of the room. And once you're in there, be ready. At the very top is an Assaultron and a really tough Sentry Bot. Sentry Bots have been really tough in Fallout games, at least Fallout 3 in New Vegas but they are very, very tough in Fallout 4 once again. So what I recommend is bring some of your strongest weapons and also bring some drugs. If you wanna make it easier on yourself and just burn through this sentry bot, I advise, you know, you take some Psycho or some Psycho Jet like I did. It just allowed me to burn through this sentry bot very easily with my Overseer's Guardian. And yeah, it just makes it very, very easy if that's kind of the route you wanna take. So once you've killed the Assaultron and that sentry bot, um, they both spawn from kind of these hidden rooms and they're on either side of this, uh, you know, kind of top floor location. So you're going to want to press the red buttons on either side of this area in those, you know, hidden rooms. And then that will open the central kind of compartment where you can kind of see the power armor in kind of this glass case. Don't be alarmed if when the doors open, it doesn't look like the model you're looking for. Mine did not look like the X01, but once I actually looked inside, all the pieces were X01. And once I actually hopped into the power armor, it was X01. It kind of changed the model. So don't let that freak you out. But essentially, this is the X01 Mark II power armor. It has the strongest base resistances in the game. And of course, you can mod them even higher for the highest possible power armor resistance. Speaking of modding, I took this set to my power armor station and kind of check things out. There's not a lot special except for this X01 EMP shielding, which is just additional energy resistance. And honestly, I don't find that super helpful. You've already got so much and bumping it up just a little bit really doesn't seem, you know, super useful, like a useful use of those materials to me. Um, so there wasn't really anything super, super special about modding, but I mean, this is just the top of the line power armor in the game. So, you know, just because there's not a lot special with modding doesn't mean you shouldn't get this. You absolutely should. I want to know what you guys think about this power armor. You know, does it look really cool? Do you think it's ugly? I kind of like the bug eyed sort of look of this set of power armor. And I believe the, the 
the helmet was on the cover of a previous Fallout game and I always thought it looked cool. So it's really cool to see it in Fallout 4 and actually be able to get it. So I really like this. Of course, it's the most powerful in the game. So, you know, naturally, I think this is a very cool set of armor. And I want to know, did you guys already get, you know, some X01 pieces and this kind of completed your set? Did you already find another full set? Because that's a lot harder. I mean, this takes like 10, 15 minutes at the most, especially if you're at the right level. Let me know what you guys think below. All right, guys, today I showed you how to get a full set of X01 power armor in Fallout 4. And next time we will cover more Fallout 4 on my channel. So stay tuned for daily Fallout 4 tips and tricks videos. And remember that this is your number one hub for all Fallout 4 content on YouTube. If you learned something new, remember to hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe for continued weapon guides, you know, power armor. I think I'm going to do a power armor basics, you know, modding kind of guide for you guys very soon. And also, I hope to start doing those really awesome character builds. I think my first one is going to be Rick Grimes, kind of a Rick Grimes character build. I think that's going to be really fun and a fun series on my channel. So hope you guys are looking forward to all of that. And I will talk to you next time. Peace.